YouTube, what's happening? Yep. You see in front of you the SIG P365 XL, brand spanking new, oil all over it still. Haven't shot it, just got it today. Why? <laughs> well, the 365 XL intrigued me because they changed a few things from the original 365. And if you watched Military Arms video yesterday, that they did on the 365 XL. Tim is absolutely in love with this gun, and he's been probably the biggest um, deterrent against the original 365 because of all the issues he had, like or has four of those guns, and had, has some problems, some striker issues, etc. So he said after watching his video, and I've, I've been intrigued about this gun before he did the video, but the, his video definitely pushed me over the edge and made me, made me buy one of these guys today. Like only really because I found one in stock. It was kind of an impulse. Hey, I found one in stock. You should grab it. They're going to be hard to find. They are. They have been hard to find around here. So, why? You know, why did I get a 365? Well, for one, I've always liked the idea of the 365, um, but the original 365 had a few issues. Mine was actually pretty flawless. Minus, I did have a release, an issue with the magazine release, which I feel like they fixed because these things fly out of here. Um, and I, there is an enhanced magwell on the 365 XL, which is one of the big differences. Um, but, you know, and then the striker drag was kind of concerning to me. Other than that, I didn't really have any issues. Sold it, ended up getting a Glock 48. And I've carried this, but more, I've carried actually more. I, I, I bought a 43 slide and carried the um, 48 frame with the 43 slide, and essentially having a 43X, right? But the issue I had, so. Carrying appendix with this gun is no big deal. I would say the 48 it still is because the barrel is longer. I think a shorter barrel for appendix carry, at least for me, works better. Uh, but the grip doesn't really matter as much when carrying appendix, right? The, the, uh, it's the opposite when carrying inside the waistband, where the grip matters a ton, the barrel does not matter as much. So carrying this gun inside the waistband was hard. It printed quite a bit because it's got a full-size grip. It's got essentially... Well, I don't think it's quite the size of the Glock 19, but it's very, very close. So for me, it was hard to, to conceal because it printed when I wasn't carrying inside the waist or appendix carry. Stopped carrying appendix carry because I just found it to be a little too uncomfortable for me. That's just, I gave it a nice long try. I tried a bunch of different. Well, I tried you know this holster, which is great by McKenna Tech. Fantastic quality, great com you know as comfortable as it can be. But really, it came down to appendix carry just not working well for me. So I'm switching back to inside the waistband. So that was kind of what prompted this. This is a little too big. I've still got the PBQ subcompact, which I carry pretty much daily inside the waistband. But if you, as you see when I compare these guns, this gun is very similar in size to the 365 XL, besides being fatter. So they, they made a few changes with the, with the uh, there's some ergonomic changes to the handle. The handle feels amazing, by the way, super amazing. The uh, magazines fly out. They never did that for, for me. I don't know if it was mine or what. So I feel like the magazine release works better now. That could be totally fallacy. That's just something I'm giving my first impressions on. Still got the green, same grade night sights. Got a little bit longer sight radius and slide. Uh, from Tim's review, he said it shoots better. It's got the flat face trigger. This is obviously clear because it's brand new. But just to show you, um, trigger pull feels about the same to me. Drop the mag as the other um, 365s. This has got some serious grease on it still, so I'm going to have to break it in, but good trigger. Um, has the cutout now for a red dot sight, so built into the frame, which is awesome. So the SIG has a sight coming out that's going to work. The, the only downside is you have to replace this rear sight, right? Well, the SIG sight that's coming out actually has a rear sight built into it. The other sight that works for this is the Shield RMSC, I believe. That works out of the box right now, but you're losing a rear sight, so... Take that for what it's worth. I may or may not run a red dot. I'm not sure. So, let's. What I wanted to do in this video, I haven't shot this gun, so I can't give it any kind of review. But I did want to compare it in size with the flush 12 because this is a flush 12 round magazine, flush into the handle. Right? 12 rounds is an awesome number of rounds to have for nine millimeter. The 48 holds 10. The PBQ, PBQ subcompact holds 10. Can hold 15 with a full size mag. But that's huge. The Mossberg MC1, also clear, um, holds six plus one. Now you can use an extended mag, like this Vickers Tactical Glock 26. See, it's having that same issue I was telling you guys about. Um, you know, that extends the grip quite a bit, and that gives you 
eight, so nine rounds. So, but I want to do some size comparisons of all these things and just kind of show you how it stacks up because it's actually not really an XL gun in, by any shape of the imagination. I was actually pleasantly surprised when I handled it today. I was like, this doesn't feel that much bigger than the original 365. And honestly, I don't have the original 365 anymore, but this grip is the same length as this 365 with the uh, pinky extension, which I always carried. Uh, with the 12-round mag, this grip's actually shorter. Go figure. Doesn't make sense, right? But it is. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do some comparisons. So we'll compare, first of all, the... the uh, the SIG next to the Glock um, and show you like the different view here. So the Glock 48 does have a longer barrel. Let's do actually dovetail to dovetail. So slightly longer barrel on the Glock. As you can see and you'll best see here, the Glock is quite a bit longer in the grip. I'm trying to get these lined up as best I can so you get a really good accurate estimate. But I think the Glock um, 48 is about five inches in overall height where this is 4.7 or 4.8 around there. So it actually is a pretty substantial difference and that's this is only a 10 round mag. Um, so you have a pretty, a, quite a bit shorter grip with the 365 XL. That doesn't seem like a lot, but that makes a, that much makes a big difference in printing. It really does when you're carrying inside the waistband. So, so that's a side by side with the um, 48. Um, let's try the PPQ. Now I usually carry the PPQ with a, a pinky extension just because otherwise I can't get my full hand on there, right? So side by side, you can see obviously the the, the, the SIG is going to be a lot skinnier, but look at the barrel length. It's about the same um, between the 365 XL and the PPQ subcompact, right? This is where things get interesting because typically this would be a shorter gun. It's only a 10 round mag. It's a double stack so it can have a shorter grip. And, but with that pinky extension, which is how I carry it, it's essentially the same as, I mean, it actually is a little bit longer than with that pinky extension sticking out, is a little bit longer than the 365. Barely, but it is. And you, I'm gaining two rounds of ammunition here. Two rounds. All right, the next up was going to be the Mossberg um, MC1. Uh, I'll put the flush mag in there for now. And there, there is a size difference here, obviously, but you're only getting 6 plus 1 versus 12 plus 1. Um, not a lot of size difference, though. Look at that. Well, I'm just getting some telemarketer calling me. That's not a lot of size difference in the um, grip. It's like if you were running this with a pinky extension, you have the same grip, right? If I throw the uh, Vickers Tactical plus 2 mag in there, it's got a longer grip. Now the the MC, MC1SC is that much longer. This is very, very close in size to the Glock 43, so if you're thinking Glock 43 in your mind, this is a, pretty much essentially what a Glock 43 would be look like. So it actually would have, with that plus um, two extension, you're actually a longer grip than the, the 365 XL holding 12 rounds. So big difference in ammo there. So even with the 10 round mag, in fact, if I should, I don't know where I did with it. I think it's right here. The eight round mag or the seven round mag for this um, would have the same grip size as the 365 XL, and it's also as thin as the Mossberg. So just as thin to carry, longer barrel obviously, but just as thin to carry, and you get all that extra capacity. So those are some of the size comparisons I wanted to do. I thought they'd be pretty relevant. The 360, the 48 is probably its best direct competitor. The uh, PPQ some compact, not as popular, should be. It's a fantastic freaking gun. And honestly, the trigger on this gun blows the SIG, the Glock, everything out of the water. Look at that. Just that reset's crazy. But it is a little thicker, and um, it's, it's the same size as the SIG, and it carries two lush rounds. So once again, the engineers over at SIG have outdone themselves with fitting that many rounds into this small of a gun. It's pretty crazy, right? Now, we'll see how the reliability is. There's been, Tim's had really good luck. He's put th quite a few rounds through his over at Military Arms. He's loving it, had some good experience. One reviewer, about a thousand round mark, had some failure to go into battery. Um, so we'll see how this one goes for me. Um, it was, a you know, kind of rolling the dice slightly with SIG, but you have to absolutely love what they're doing. Here's the other thing that's crazy, is you can get 15 round mags for this guy. 
This is the 15 round OEM mag. It does obviously add quite a bit of length to the grip, but guess what? 15 rounds of 9 millimeter in a slim package. Now, I wouldn't carry it like that. This would be a backup mag. But what a backup mag. 15 rounds on, on tap for backup versus, so you get 13 in the chamber plus another 15. 28 rounds of 9 millimeter. It's a lot of, that's a lot of firepower. And with the recent um, stuff that's been going on with the uh, mass shootings and stuff, I've decided it might be time to carry a little bit more firepower on you. Um, you just know, you don't know these days. You really don't. So that's why I got it. Um, it we'll see how it works. I'm not going to carry it until I shoot probably at least four or 500 rounds through it. I plan on putting a few hundred through it soon. Um, I got some Hornady uh, hollow points. I'm going to have some of this Federal stuff, HSTs here. And then I've got some other Federal Syntec, um, this stuff that I'm going to shoot as well. So we'll try those three different types of hollow points, plus obviously ball ammo, see how it does. I'll have a video on that on um, the first 250, you know, on the first so many rounds through the gun. I'll, I'll put a compilation video together so you guys can see it. But so far, I absolutely, I've absolutely, i always loved the idea of this 365. I thought it was what we needed, and, and, and no one was really doing it. And here you have it in an even better form because, you know, you can eventually run a red dot sight on this um, and have a really, really good, you know, carry setup. I am not convinced I'm going to do that. I like the stock sights a lot. Um, but they're, the op having the option there and not having to send my gun out to be milled, is, is a fantastic thing in my eyes. You know, it's there if I want to use it. So I'm excited to go out and shoot this guy. I like the improvements. Um, the, like I said, the mag released was kind of my big reason because the Glock worked so much better for me. But guess what? It's flying out. I think it's this enhanced magwell that the 365 XL has um, that has made a difference. The ergonomics feel better. They did make some changes. I think they extended this beaver tail a little bit. And they did make some ergonomic changes to the gun. It's got some nice texturing. It's pretty coarse, but if you know you get good grip on the gun, the flat face trigger is an improvement. Um, so I think it's a good improvement. I think um, it'll be another big seller for Sig. Um, you're at 580 on these guys, so they're a little more expensive. But you do get night sights out of the box, which is you know, any, every time you buy a Glock, what do you use? The first thing you do. The joke is, you up, these are placeholders. These aren't really sights, right? You end up upgrading the sights. So um, you spend, you know, 60 to $100 on, on new sites uh, for the Glock, and you add that to the price, and they're about the same. So maybe a little bit cheaper on the Glock still, but I really like the 48. It's a fantastic gun. Um, I think it's a winner from Glock, especially when Shield Arms eventually gets to bringing out the 15-round uh, flush mags. But I think for carry, I think the SIG is going to win out for me because of the size. Um, the grip is going to be a lot easier to control as far as printing is concerned. I really don't have any issues with the, the PBQ printing, and it is with that extension the same length essentially, so shouldn't be an issue with the 365 XL. Plus, it'll be a little bit more comfortable to carry because it's a little slimmer, and I've got two extra rounds. So, sounds like a win win. Hopefully, it works out. We'll see. Stay tuned to more videos on the 3, the 65 XL. Thanks for watching and see you next time.